So I'm here with the legend, horror score. Also, biologist Jason Shipman, who you guys have read a lot of both of their works in the Texas Trophy Hunters Journal. And we are going to watch them score a white tail. So if you don't know how to score a deer, pay attention. So after you measure the inside spread, you're measuring the uh, main beam? Yes, sir. We generally start on the right side. Okay. Just to be consistent. It doesn't matter. So that has to be an inch, right? It's under an inch. If it's not an so inch, we, it doesn't we, count. We just take the tape like this, like we're going to cut the tine off. Mm -hmm. Put it on the mark. It's under. So if it's under an inch, can it count for a deduction? No. Okay. Right. So you do the whole right side before you move on to the other yeah, side? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, on the score sheet, the right side, the right side is the first column, so we, I just always do the right side. Nine, five. And then we'll do the mass measurements. Always four. First mass measurement is four, four. It's always the smallest circumference. Okay, so there we got the right side scored. We got the right side scored. Yeah. And, uh -huh. and the inside spread. Uh -huh. And now we're going to onto the left side. Nine 
nine and zero. Nine and zero. Horace, how long have you been riding for Texas Trophy Hunters? 23 years. 23 years? A while, huh? Well, I, I, uh, I retired from Parks and Wildlife in 93. Yeah. And went to work for Jerry in 95, September uh -huh. 95. So, actually, I written a little bit for him for him, but I've been uh, editing the magazine and writing basically since about 23 years. Wow. And Jason? I would guess probably just 10 years. 10 years? Uh, you ain't that bad. Yeah. 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 You <laughs> Give me some more, give me some more. <laughs> four and four. If I was know you were going to do this in this interview today, I'd have acted differently than yours and Jerry's interview yesterday. <laughs> uh, four and one. Three and three. Hey, time flies, doesn't it? It is a day, that's all I have. And Trophy Hunters uses the Boone and Crockett scoring? Right, Boone and Crockett net scoring. That's it. Okay. So what does this buck score? Well, what we do at this point is we take it and we enter it in the computer and it figures it for us, actually. Okay. In the field, if we're measuring deer, well, then we add it up all on our own. But here for the contest, the computer does that hard work for us. You, probably, you would probably agree with me if I said that was 122. Maybe you're not that many. You think so? I haven't tried. It'd be a 140 if you killed him. No. <laughs> One way to find out. Let it up. Hey, look, you can do this. Do this. I can tell you how I can do right here. No. Add 78. Add 78. One minute. All right, we're going to find out. We're going to get the official score right now. This buck's already been scored, so we just wanted to give you a demonstration. I'll let Jason and Horace score this buck for us here. 122. Horace is going 122. Jason's going to say. I'm going to say 130. No, 130. I'm going to say 132. You got the big eye. All right. One twenty-eight. <laughs> oh, I said one twenty-two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jason was right. What'd you say, one forty? <laughs> I said one thirty. He just ate I said one thirty-two. So J Jason was the closest. All right. Well, hey, thank you guys very much. <laughs> one of my favorite parts of the uh, Trophy Hunter Extravaganza is always the deer contest. So. If you're coming to San Antonio next week, yeah. bring your buck. They'll score it for you. We've got lots of different categories. And Horace will give Jason a bunch of crap. Good, 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 good crap. <laughs>